to a holiday, yes, a holiday all the way. If you should plan to go on a holiday, sail the wide and press all the way. The food is so gastronomic. And you can swim, oh, dance, oh, see the show. The price is so economic. Why don't you pack your bag and go? Go on a holiday. Yes, a holiday. It's a holiday all the way. So take the white impress. Get on the white impress today. That's what we need. Oh, I'd love to see this English countryside again. And there's so many places in Europe we missed last time. Well, we're going next month. Oh, yes, but that's business. It's going to be rush, rush all the time, especially for you. Mm. What I mean is a lovely, lazy, relaxing trip over. Hey, why not by ship? <laughs> time. Remember? Oh, Bill, only six days from Montreal. We could take one of those Canadian Pacific Empress ships. White Empresses. And since we'd be sailing from Montreal anyway, it'd be fun to get there a few days earlier. We could go out at night. There's always something on. Oh, probably all kinds of new restaurants we haven't seen. Montreal does have its charms. We could take the Canadian. Mm -hmm. well, that'd be fun in itself. I bet you wouldn't recognize the old town with all the changes they've made in that skyline. We could always fly in and see if they've left the mountain where it used to be. <laughs> hey, come to think of it, Flying would give me more time for those smart little boutiques you always find in Montreal. Uh -huh. I begin to get the plot. First, Montreal and those wonderful shops of yours. Then, over by ship, where they let you take all the clothes you want. Hmm? Oh, Bill, you know I'm not that extravagant. Besides, I just might want to take an empty suitcase to fill up over there. Oh. Remember our first sailing? There was something exciting about the moment we stepped into the stateroom for the first time. Yeah. And remember how we decided to christen our steward Richardson because we figured he looked far too distinguished just to be old Bill Iggins. <laughs> <laughs> Something that surprised me, people really do get carried away with those gay streamers just as the ship starts to move. Oh, gosh, I cried last time, remember? Well, that was because you just realized what you'd done, marrying me. Oh. <laughs> well, this time you should be used to the idea. <laughs>
Remember the first thing we did once we realized we were finally underway? Mm, ask the person some questions. <laughs> no, silly. The telephone, remember? We just had to use that ship to shore phone. So what happens? We call up the folks and say goodbye all over again. <laughs> and uh, guess who did most of the talking? <laughs> After the phone, back to the cabin to try everything out. <laughs> mm. It'd be wonderful just to press a button and have someone answer it again. Did you notice in those cabins, you hardly felt any movement at all? No dancing toothbrushes or anything. begin to get to know each other. <laughs> yeah, especially the women. You know, those little feminine glances. <laughs> you did a little sideways glancing yourself. Seriously, though, I thought the hostesses did a terrific job that way. They were always there just to get things going. Introducing people, and then you could, well, take it from there. Maybe next time you'll really get up on the bridge and see what goes on. And maybe next time you'll understand how the radar system works. Well, whose fault was that? For such a mechanical genius, you didn't explain it very well. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll stick to the simple, pleasant things. Like shuffleboard. Say, uh, tell me, did I ever let you beat me at any of those deck games? Come to think of it, I never did beat you at shuffleboard. But in the tea drinking and deck chair sitting departments, I certainly was the champion. Speaking of champions, we had some champion dogs on board too, didn't we? swimmers. Remember that one? Oh, I do. Very well. well. She didn't like to get her hair wet, though. <laughs> well, that's the only thing that always bothered me. <laughs> well, I can't blame her. You know, she looked pretty good the way she was. Well, you can understand a girl wanting to save her hairdo for afternoon tea. Especially when accompanied by violins.
you do meet people everywhere. But most of all, you meet them in, in the, the lounges. lounges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had some good times there. Yeah, we did. so quickly. <laughs> Just when you were going to find out what really happened to that man in Zanzibar, bong, there was the boy with the gong again. And it was time to unwind yourself from your blanket and deck chair and think about dinner. I never had to be persuaded. <laughs> St. Lawrence. Sometimes I hated to come in, even for dinner. changing every night and meeting your friends. This time I'll take some evening skirts and tops. Jersey or, or silk or something. They'll be just right for London too. improved after that trip. Oh, you thought I was a pretty good cook before we were married. <laughs> you were, you were. <laughs> but then I bought you that cookbook in Paris. So... Ah, that didn't inspire me as much as the chief steward on the ship. Uh, Madame would like some of the roast beef tonight? Uh, no, I think I'll have coco vin, thank you. You had that last night. No, last night was seafood, lobster thermidor. And uh, some wine to go with your dinner, monsieur. Champagne, I think. We had that last night. Darling, you wanted white wine, I wanted red. So we compromised on champagne, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, and what lovely compromising it was. You know, we should have skipped the elevators more. The exercise would have done you good. Well, you managed me pretty well in other ways. First, you let me relax at the movies. Then you'd say, let's go up on deck. You know, the night air. Mm. <laughs> then you'd say, casually, of course, isn't that the music starting, Bill? <laughs> <laughs>
gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, 25 years married today. Isn't it wonderful? We offer them our heartiest congratulations, and now everybody dance. <laughs> and crew were quietly keeping things going. Now, ladies and gentlemen, is everyone having a nice time? Good. Then would, would somebody come up and sing for us? Would nobody come and sing for us? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michelin, and you'll sing? C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. Michelin. For a spin, oh la la la, c'est magnifique. When every night your loved one holds you tight, oh la la la, c'est magnifique. But when one day your loved one drifts away, oh. But when, once more, he whispers, shut that door, c'est magnifique. With me! lean on the rails. Oh, they must have ordered the moonlight. Because that first part of the trip on the St. Lawrence was just like a cruise. Down to the sea. Thank you. 
No matter how late you dance the night before, it doesn't matter. Oh, you just wake up to that morning cup of tea. Now, that's a traditional custom I'd like to bring home. And breakfast in bed once in a while isn't so bad either. You know, I still can't decide whether you used to get your hair done in order to go swimming or because you just been swimming. <laughs> well, both, of course. Now, I'm a swimmer who puts her head under. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Bill, Jimmy would love the pool. Everything. When he isn't quite so small, we should take him. Oh, he'd be well looked after. Those nurses in the playroom and the babysitters were so good with the children. Yeah, we'd end up having to buy a rocking horse just like the one in the playroom. <laughs> Maybe they have some in the shop. Remember I found those gifts for your cousins there? The prices were a lot lower than I had expected, too. Mm -hmm. Surprising, really. Christmas cards from the Mansfields. Mm, the Mansfields? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, of course. Why? Oh, I was just thinking of some of those little cabin get-togethers before lunch. Oh, oh they were fun. <laughs> yeah, so were the Mansfields. Mm -hmm. I never could get them to tell me how long they've been married. I had a feeling that they were on their honeymoon, too. Oh. But just not talking. <laughs> dish would be the favorite. After all the hours they spent on them. Oh, come on. Just arranging salads and aspects. Oh, hey, those were very exotic salads. They probably have someone just tossing them. And someone else marinating things. And someone just to put ruffles and flourishes on the pastries. <laughs> and someone to say abracadabra over the cold hams and so forth. <laughs> After all, think of the professional pride involved. I'm sure we distributed our favors fairly. Mm -hmm. I personally remember sampling everything. You know, next time, I'm going to try and get up earlier. Play more deck tennis. Oh, will you? Or uh, would it be... Table tennis. Oh. Remember how 
how we both love best to be up on deck, just soaking up sun. Everything's so easy on a ship. On the Canadian Pacific's White Empress, a holiday to a holiday. You know? Oh, darling, I do know. <laughs> A holiday, yes, a holiday all the way. If you should plan to go on a holiday, sail the wide and press all the way. Go on a holiday, yes, a holiday. It's a holiday all the way. So take the wide and press. And let's go get on the wide and press. Everybody today. Thank you. 